Hi, and welcome to, welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video. Um, I've been quite nervous to start this and I've always wanted to like since I've been in school. So I just thought, you know, quarantine, this is kind of the best time to start. So I'm gonna film my everyday makeup look and then as well as that, I'm gonna actually answer a few questions, kind of like a get to know me. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna, I look like such a boy, I don't wanna do that. So obviously my name is Eloise, I actually don't even know if I said that in the intro, I don't know. Um, I'm 20 years old and I'm from a small place called Northern Ireland. I don't really like our accent, though a lot of people do, but I really don't and there is so many different accents from here. And at the moment I am studying in university. I'm in my second year. I'm actually gonna mix two foundation shades because I, I do have tan on. It's actually the Molly May tan and oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. It's so good, like really, it smells so nice as well. But yeah, I put that on on like one point five days ago maybe. So it's kind of obviously coming off. So I'm gonna mix two shades. Like if I was just tan, I'd be using the 230. I'm gonna mix it with the 150. So I'm gonna use these two together. I just kind of dot this all over my face. It's just the way I do it. I have two older sisters and an older brother. So I am the baby of the family. I've barely been wearing makeup throughout this whole quarantine. Like I actually only started like last week because I just didn't see the point, but I actually got my skincare really, really good. So I might actually do a video on skincare if you want to see or if anyone wants to see. It's actually been making my skin so, so good. I used to struggle so much with my skin. Like I still do, like I obviously still get spots. I love salt and vinegar crisps, but say if I eat salt and vinegar crisps like the next day and it's always on my chin, I'll get like a massive, like really sore, like under the skin kind of spot. <sighs> the worst. My biggest fear, <laughs> Well, like, right, so I, like, did this, like, like, question thing a while ago where, like, your friends, like, answer your questions, like, and they see what score they get. And, like, I said my biggest fear was zombies, right? Because I was, like, a like, guy when I was younger, I actually still, like, I always have had, like, really, really weird dreams. Like, the weirdest dreams ever. Like, they, I always wake up tired because I have, like, such crazy dreams. So, I have, like, loads written down in my notes, like, of weird dreams. And that's why I'm so tired then when I wake up because I'm like, my brain has been working so hard, like all night. I used to have a lot of bad dreams with zombies and like, if I watched anything like zombie related, like, oh my God, that's actually really, it's a wee bit light actually, I think, but oh well. I've always had like really bad like zombie dreams and everything. So when I was younger as well, there was this like thing on, I don't know if it was on BBC or something, but, um, it was like Darren Brown. I don't know if you know him. He's like this like allu is he an illusionist or something or like it was like a TV show and they pranked this like guy to believe there was like this zombie apocalypse and it was actually happening like in this is probably so not interesting at all. They're pranking him to make him believe that there was this zombie apocalypse going on. So like they literally like got his phone and everything and got a TV and like had his family playing all with it and they got taken away to this thing and everything and you know then at the end obviously like it was I don't know what it was it was like to sh to see if somebody would believe it or I don't know like I had such bad insomnia after that like I didn't sleep for like three or four days and um I've also had quite a lot of sleep paralysis it actually happens though when I'm like napping or like when I've got really sick the biggest fear maybe I should split it because like that would be my biggest fear that would like probably well in this climate I don't know but it will probably never happen. My biggest like real fear then you could say would be spiders. So that was a really long winded question. Like I really didn't have to go into all that, but the more you know. I'm actually gonna use my favorite cream bronzer, which is the Chanel Tan, Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's just a cream kind of thing. It comes in like this big thing. I've had this for maybe like two years now, I don't know, maybe longer. 
um it's really really good like it just gives you that nice like glow to the cheeks it live anywhere where would it be and that's actually a really tough question i don't know like i actually quite like here like obviously the weather's awful here so maybe somewhere in like america like i actually really like the weather in florida i've been to florida before on a family holiday and i like how it's like humid but also like you get the thunderstorms and i really like thunderstorms i think they're really nice um so I like that kind of tropical weather but obviously we don't get a lot of sun here so i'm always peels so i've always picked time like i always wanted to start youtube but like the first actually this kind of is a question too so like my favorite youtubers the first ever youtuber i watched like properly i think was nicole guerrero i love nicole like she's so good like i still watch her her vlogs i think are the best I just really really like her. I remember watching her video and it was about how to like curl your hair and I bought like the same curling iron and everything like I was so obsessed. I was so young though I think that was like 2013 maybe 2012 I don't know. Other youtubers I watch are Carly Bible who I love too and they're like friends I love them. Uh, Kathleen Knights is so funny like I love her so much I'm gonna blend that in actually sorry love 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 Lily Brown like I think she's amazing her and like Shani as well are really really good now I'm gonna use some concealer now I have ordered more of this I think I ordered it like last week but it's taken obviously so long then I first blend it in with my fingers also please excuse my nails because they are so ugly obviously I don't have my nail girl to go to anymore but I blend it in my fingers first because I feel like it like just melts into the skin a wee bit better and then I go in with my sponge again and just go over it now I'm gonna bake a tiny bit under my eyes like I don't I wouldn't usually do this on the day today, but I am just for the sake of this. Under eyes are quite dry at the moment, you see. Um, I actually am using the RCMA No Color Powder, but I think it's the No Color Powder. I don't know the RCMA powder anyway. You get it on Beauty Bay, but I use the Laura Mercier like wee tub because I love the Laura Mercier powder. It's just too expensive for me at the moment. Use the next brow pencil thing my brows have been so bad at the moment so please excuse the hairy mess they are because i like i tweeze them but i couldn't wax them myself because i would definitely rip off my whole brow i'm probably gonna skip this whole part because i hate doing brows and i feel like i'll just get stressed out when i'm doing them funny i literally just like draw a line here though draw a line on top and then like fill it in kind of um i just miss <laughs> I just miss my eyebrow girls so much. I did actually try <laughs> the other day to tint them. I used um, this here, but I feel like like it did work, but I did it wrong, right? So like I watched that Ellie Kelly Insta story the other day and she like did it properly and I just read the instructions. Like I was dumb. I didn't watch like go on YouTube like I should have watched somebody else do it. But she like got like a brush and like carved them out and I should have done that. But anyways, yes, I'm going to fill these in and then I'll be back. Okay, so brows are done. Actually, they're so thick. I'm going to give them another little brush out. I just hate doing brows. I also wiped the thing off because my under eyes actually are getting really dry lately. So I didn't want to leave it on longer than I should. Also, I don't have a brow gel at the moment. And then I would have like, if I didn't have a brow gel... I would have just like sprayed my little like brush thing on this with hairspray. Don't have any of that either. So we have to do without. I've been using Vaseline, but I don't really think it's been working. Okay, so for face powder. Oh God, I'm so out of breath after like running to the kitchen to get my powder. Oh, it was just in my bag there. Let me just take a sec. Right, so the face powder I'm using is actually the Makeup Forever. Like, I actually don't know what the name of this is. I think it's like, I think it's like soft matte velvet powder. Let's press it into the skin. My hairs are all over my face. I should probably put my cat ears on, but then you all know that I'm a crazy cat lady. Carol Basket. I have three cats. Well, like my mom has three cats, but I do love dogs and I do want to have a dog when I'm older. 
I want a dog and I can't like and then like get them together and then they'll love each other and grow up together and be best friends. Now we're gonna do bronzer and by the way I am getting new brushes. I ordered new brushes the other day off the Morphe website. I even touched the top row. It's the light to medium one I think but I just kind of swirl all the colors. I kind of use like the top one there and that one. You can see that one's like hip pan already. This is such a gross brush which is why I like ordered all the new ones but it actually does such a whole look really well. My favorite TV shows at the moment, Jane the Virgin. Oh my God, it took me so long to get on this. Kathleen Lights talked about it for so long and I was like, oh, it looks like, doesn't look that great. It like, looks really stupid and all. It is so, so, so good. It's so funny, I got my sister to start it. Who is it? Rogelio in it, oh my God, he's so funny. Like it's like a, it's kind of like a telenovela, like set, and it's like set in Miami. Like, I don't know, you just have to watch it really really recommend it i actually just finished that series hollywood because i love um ryan murphy like i loved clay and i loved american horror story and then i loved american crime story so i thought i'd give hollywood a go it was really good like it was really emotional for blusher i've been using this forever i always use mac melba like that was always such a like, youtube favorite like mac melba was always the way to go i actually have a really good blush kit and like I don't need another blush at all for the rest of my life. It's from Tarte. I got this for 17 pounds like last year. Ready? The year before, the year before maybe. Comes with like four blush shades. You know I really like them. My all time favorite and looks so nice when you have a tan is MAC Peaches. And then it across the nose too. I know I'm so basic. But yeah, I like it across the nose. It gives you a kind of sun kiss look. Favorite TV shows of all time though. I mean, Vampire Diaries is obviously up there. Like, I feel like seasons one to four. Yeah, seasons one to four of Vampire Diaries. So four is kind of where it went downhill a bit. Like it just got a bit boring, but Grey's Anatomy was really good though. I only watched up to like season 10 and then I got bored of that. Am I a tea or coffee drinker? I'm a tea drinker, but I love coffee too. Like, but the only coffee I really like is like a cappuccino and I just love tea. I love like actually my like peppermint tea. And I like peppermint tea too because even when it's cold like it still tastes nice. I don't know how I hit 10,000 steps when I've been sitting here doing nothing so that's perfect. But thanks Fitbit. I think I'll just apply highlighter just for the crack. Um, I don't always add highlighter obviously because I'm so oily like I don't really need it. Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, Becca Cosmetics or whatever it is. But obviously mine is smashed. I feel like everybody I know who has this, there's a smashed. And I did, I did the whole like surgical spirit thing to like put it back together. I just couldn't be bothered, like it broke again. I just apply it here. Like, I think that gives a really nice glow. Even though I'm oily, I love to highlight my nose. I've had this for literally like I've had this for so long, like years. And it is so, actually I'm gonna take a brush out because it always falls out. Look how beat up this is. That is disgusting. <coughs> that is so gross. Oh my God, I hate that. And the one shade, like the one shade out of all of them, which I love the most is Vermeer. Like me and my friends would always use this for the inner corners of our eyes. But I literally just like swirl around. That's the only thing this little bit has been used for. But I actually like to, obviously the inner corners of my eyes, but I really like to tip of my nose. I know a lot of people don't like doing the tip of their nose, but I think it looks really cute. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I actually don't sadly have any of this left. It looks actually so sad. So I don't use setting spray, which I hate because I love setting spray. Like I feel like it just sets all the powder and it just melts everything in. So I use just like a like it's like a whiter skin colored like nude liner and I just put it in the water now. I think I just put myself in the eye. I don't usually do like a lip. 
But you know what, just for the sake of the video, we'll do a lip. I really hope you guys or whoever watching if anyone's watching i really hope you've enjoyed this video check it out i actually might go straight in my hair because this is not looking cute i know obviously i have zero subscribers at the moment so i'm literally talking to nobody but thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully see you in another video bye